Today we will be looking at soil testing using the feeling method as well as the molding method. We are going to start with the feeling method first and then the molding method. Before we go into the demonstration, um, we need to know the reason or the importance of doing soil testing. Now if you have a piece of land and you intend to do some farming, then based on the crops that you're going to put in, there are certain soil requirements for that crop. Now you need to carry a test on the soil to know the components of the different soil particles that are present in that soil. Reason B is that the soil type that you have may not be suitable for the crop. So by carrying out the different soil tests, you will be able to know the particles that are present in the soil and can make the necessary adjustments. In demonstrating the feeling method when doing the soil test, there are certain things you need to know. Of course, you need to know the feeling of sand. Now, if the soil has sand in it, it will feel gritty or green. If the soil has silt in it, it will feel smooth or floury, but it will not stick. If the soil is clay, then it will feel sticky when wet. There are also three types of loam. So you need to know the types of loam. There are three types of loam. Now, a loam is a mixture of soil particles, mainly um, clay and sand. Now, there are three types of loam soils. You have clay loam, sandy loam, and medium loam. Sandy loam will have more sand in it than clay. Clay loam will have more clay in it than sand. And medium loam would have equal amount of sand and clay. Now, let us get into the demonstration. Now, I have selected three samples of soil that I get from the environment outside. Now, I'm going to carry out the feeling method test on each sample to tell the type of soil. Let's start with this sample. It's called the sample one. So let's start with sample one. Now, in carrying out the feeling method, of course, you need to have your samples of soil, water, and I have a rod here for cleaning my hands. All right, so let's start with sample one. So this is sample one, this is sample two, this is sample three. So let's start with sample one. Now, when carrying out the feeling method, I would basically be feeling the soil and rubbing the soil. So I will first wet the soil sample. Now, I have already had some water to them. All right, so I'll take up, I will take up the soil and I rub the soil using my thumb and index finger. I can feel some grits in the soil, so it has some sand. It also feels smooth, so I'll rub it out, make sure I can feel all the particles. This type of soil here is sand and silt. It has more silt in it than sand. So this soil is a silty soil and it has sand in it as well. Before I move to the next sample, I'll make sure my hands and my fingers are cleaned off because I don't want to bring over soil particles into the other soil sample. So I clean off my fingers, then I move to the next soil sample. Soil here feels very sticky, so I make sure I rub it. I feel grit in it. It is also smooth, but it is very sticky. It has a small amount of sand. So basically, this is a clay loam. It has more clay than sand. Alright, so that is a clay loam. Before I move to the next sample, I Clean my fingers. This is very grainy. It only has green, so I guess the soil sample is sand, pure sand. This is a pure sand soil. Alright, so that is the feeling method. And of course, when carry out the fielding method, you need to also know that if the soil is clay, it will hold a lot of nutrients and also it will hold a lot of water. And the sand, sand is necessary for drainage. So if you want to improve drainage of your soil, you add sand to it. If you want to increase nutrient holding capacity and water holding capacity of your soil, then you add clay to it. All right, so let's move into the molding method. Of course, with the molding method, you, you would shape the soil. Before we start, let us go through some important information. If the soil is clay and you try to mold that soil, then that soil will be able to form a ribbon. I'll soon show you what a ribbon looks like. It will be able to be molded because clay has sticky properties in it. 
Now, if the soil has some sand in it, it will be molded, but it will break. If the soil sample is sand, pure sand, it will not form a ribbon or it cannot be shaped. If it is pure silt, it cannot be shaped as well. Alright, so let us get into the detailed demonstration and of course more details will come out at that time. Let us start with sample of one. So of course you wet the soil, it is already wet. So I would take up some of the soil. Now I would, I would mold the soil. I try to mold the soil and try to form a ribbon with it. This soil sample cannot form the ribbon. And based on the feeling method, it was said that it is silty. So silt cannot form a ribbon because silt, they are non-sticky. So I would clean my hands off. Okay, so we'll move to sample two. So we'll take out some of the soil. And we'll knead the soil, mold the soil. So that's why it's called the molding method. And we'll form a ribbon with the soil. So first we see where the soil forms a ribbon. So of course, you know, it has a lot of clay in it because of course, Clay sticks. Now you try to form it into a circle. So let us mold it over. Now if it breaks, it means it has some sand in it. So this is a ribbon. So we want to form this ribbon in a circle. Alright, it's, it's breaking, so it has some sand in it. It's breaking, so it has sand in it. Based on that demonstration, it proves that this soil sample has more clay in it than sand. It's a loam soil, but it has more clay in it than sand. If it could form a circle, then it means that the soil would be pure clay, but it's not forming a circle without breaking. It's breaking, so it is basically a clay loam. Now let us move to the third soil sample. So I'll take up some of the soil. So of course, you know, we wet all the soil samples first. Now, we try to mold it. We mold the soil, try to form a ribbon. Can't form a ribbon. And clearly, it's very gritty. So this soil is pure sand. Now let us revisit the three samples. So of course, this sample here, this is silt. It cannot stick, but it's very smooth. It cannot form a ribbon, but it's very smooth. It is silt. Or it, it has more silt in it. Um, with this soil sample, it is clay loam. It has more clay in it. It forms a ribbon. It starts to form a U, but it breaks. And this here can't form a ribbon at all, and it's very gritty. It is sand. Thank you, and uh, remember, the reason for carrying out your soil test is so that you can make changes to your soil. Your crops require special soil, and you want to know your soil so you can make adjustments to the soil. Thanks for viewing. Please look out for another video. Please subscribe to the channel. Also, hit the bell so you can be notified when we release another video. Thanks for viewing.